What's up, everybody? You know what time it is, man. It's your boy Turbo here, and I got a wonderful video for you guys today where we're going to be talking about shoulders. So before we get started, subscribe to the YouTube channel, like this video, comment under this video, and then go over to Instagram and give your boy a follow. So today we're going to talk about shoulder pain, but more importantly, we're going to be talking about the scapula. So I've talked about the scapula in a little bit of my other videos and I'll continue to talk about it as I progress through a lot of my videos. So your scapula is a big part of the body because it is responsible for helping that shoulder being stabilized, but also being able to be stabilized and move throughout a lot of different ranges of motion in every plane that we know them in. So with my scap, I have four main movements. I have elevation, which is going to the sky. I have depression, which is going down to the ground. Then I have protraction and retraction, which is my hands or shoulders going forward and my scaps pinching in the back, okay? So those are the four main functions that help the shoulder to move in a lot of different ranges and to be able to do overhead presses, to be able to bend and to do a lot of exercises that we like doing on a day-to-day -day basis. Your rotator cuff and scapula is a very important muscle junction and bone junction that a lot of people have problems with. So hopefully this video today gives you guys a lot of pain relief from home and then you guys can just, again, share this video with someone because you can do this right at home to get some pain relief in about 10 to 15 minutes. So again, we'll start here by rolling out. So I'm gonna go over to my ball here that has a nice, some nice pricks on it that can kind of get deep into that tissue, okay? So I'm gonna drop this to the ground. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna isolate my right and my left side. So disclaimer, disclaimer, when you roll out with an item like that that's very small, please stay away from your spine. Please stay away from a bone. I want you to just roll out purely muscle, okay? So I am going to lay down on my back like so, and I am going to isolate a side where I put that ball right underneath my rotator cuff, and to get into that rotator cuff a little bit more, I like to hug myself, okay? So that rounds my back, and that brings out that muscle from its hiding position. So from here, I just wanna roll up, I wanna roll down, I wanna get all different parts of the shoulder. If you feel a part of the shoulder where there's a large nut, a large lump, just stay on there for a couple of seconds and then you can move around right after that. So we'll spend about a minute rolling out each side and then the next part to it is rolling out my chest. So for my chest, I'm not gonna show you guys, you can just find a wall, right? You put the ball onto the wall and then you brace your chest into the wall and you can roll out that whole chest plate. And the reason why I said you guys should roll out your chest because your pectoral muscle is also a muscle that wraps into the shoulder and can limit its range of motion because a lot of people do a lot of pressing sometimes. So it can really limit their external and internal rotation depending on their kind of routine, okay? So after we roll that shoulder out, my first exercise here for protraction and retraction and I'll go through a lot of progressions for this one, is I'm gonna be on a bear crawl position and I wanna make sure that my elbows are locked out. So from this position here, my elbows are locked out. What I want to do is have my whole body fall through my shoulders and then I wanna feel my shoulder blades pinch in the back. I don't want my shoulders to go up to my ears, I want them to stay pinched down kind of towards my butt. So they're gonna be pinched together here, and I'm gonna push the ground away and try to get length between my rotator cuff as I push away. So this movement here can help you to start to feel what the scap is supposed to do, but to also just feel the scap if you've never felt it move before. So from here, down and up is a rep. And then you guys can go for about 10 reps on each side. To progress from that position, we'll just add a bag, we'll just add a band, which just adds a little bit more of a sensory kind of feeling to it, but it also allows you to engage in the movement a lot more. So from this position here, right, arms locked out, body comes through my shoulders, I'm gonna push away. Body comes through my shoulders, 
push away and get length between my scaps, and I'll go for about two sets of 10. Next exercise that I wanna come into and show you guys is a overhead reach. So what I'm actually gonna do here, let me just move this mat down a little bit so I don't get out of my video and move this back. A little bit of adjustment on the go, you know? So from here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back into my bear crawl position. And before, and before I even get back into that bear crawl position, let me show you guys the standing up progression of that drill. So with the drill that we just did on the ground, I don't like to really use this drill without a band. So from a standing up position, I just go here, right? Push away, push away. Now my shoulders come together. Push away, shoulders come together. And again, we'll go for about two sets of 10. So now I wanna work on a little bit of that overhead mobility and that elevation aspect and depressional aspect of the shoulder. Okay, so I'm gonna assume a bear crawl position. And from here, I'm gonna go 12 o'clock, one o'clock, three o'clock. So from here, my shoulder will be pinned down. I'm gonna reach, I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna go two o'clock. I'm gonna reach, lock my arm out on the opposite side. I'm gonna come back, then I'm gonna go three o'clock where I'm gonna reach, then I'm gonna come back. So again, right, to help that scapula with overhead movement, I wanna pin that shoulder down reach forward, I'm gonna feel a nice big stretch underneath my lat, which my lat muscle is right here. Then I'm gonna go two, two o'clock. Then I'm gonna come back and go three o'clock, okay? So again, 12 o'clock, two o'clock, and three o'clock is one rep. We can do a set of five on each set, on each side for two sets, okay? So the last exercise I really like here for scapula movement, let me get a band. It's basically a scat ladder. And I'll show you what I mean by that in one sec. So, if I'm in a seated position here, and with another video I'll show you guys on a wall. From here I'm gonna pin my shoulders down. I'm gonna drive up into external rotation. And from here, while maintaining my shoulders down and pinched together, I want to climb without losing my shoulder, without losing the pinch that I have going on in my back. So from here, I'll ladder down and I'll ladder up while maintaining that movement. I want to lock those arms up because we want to work that end range of motion for that scap and that strength and then we'll come back down from there, okay? So, just a little recap. The scapula is a really important junction that helps with overhead movement, that helps with presses, that helps with when you're carrying stuff, that helps with reactionary things such as um, throwing a ball, throwing a baseball, or even shooting a lacrosse ball, okay? Those are motions and movements that demand a high type of force from the shoulder, but also just like picking something up and going from one side to another is just another movement that engages that scapula. So it's a very important junction that we need to train and you guys can do it right from home. Do this video and get some pain relief within 10 to 15 minutes and then subscribe to the channel, like this video, comment on this video, and I promise I got some more heat for y'all. Let's rip.